Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer from 6 x 6 studioscom and I want to reach out to all you gamers that have an NVIDIA problems with OBS Studios. Now, I had, some people online have got lucky by following some steps that a lot of people have been watching YouTube videos and I noticed a lot of people are still haven't resolved this issue and I just figured it out and a lot of people did not address this issue and I'm now going to address the issue because I think people need to stop making quick videos to get views and you know try to figure out what is actually the cause of the OBS studios to not functionally work correctly in Windows 10. Now I already figured this out on my own. I spent my entire morning and afternoon, half of my afternoon already, and it's now at four o'clock. Uh, and now I'm in San Jose, California. I'm a photographer uh, that is traveling, and I used to be a gamer, but I wanted to address this issue because I feel like there's some questions that need to be answered, and I'm here to answer it. So, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, guys, I want you. The first thing I want you to do is, I need you to add two files to an NVIDIA control panel. Um, first, add search program files x86. Go to OBS. Go to the pen file. Now, these two folders, which you're going to add, you're not going to add the folders. You're going to add the files. But before you add the files, you need to right click. Properties, Compatibility, Windows 7 is which you need to add and run this program. Run it as administration, press OK, open, right? Once you're done with that one, select Integrated Graphics. So you want to use the Intel's Integrated Graphics, not the GPU, because it won't work with the GPU. Then you do it again. I go browse it, program files, OBS, pinned, 64 bit, right click, properties, compatibility, Windows 7, run as administration. Press OK, open, add, once you finish adding, add integrated graphics, graphics to that and apply it. Once you finish applying with that, then the next step is to also go to Browse, Computer, to go to Riot Games, League of Legends. Now this is based on the game, so if you're having multiple issues with games, you might want to do this to all the folders. With League of Legends, they have all these application, uh, application to, um, EXE files that you need to do it to. So right click. Compatibility, Windows 7, okay, open. You do it for all of them, all three, okay, you do it for the legal leagues client, the launch admit, and the launch chart. Once you have done adding all of them to that, right, and you're done, you're going to go to that. Now you're going to add the GPU, which is your NVIDIA graphics card. And with my settings, I have uh, VSync off, apply it, and the next step, next, is to make sure that you are also going to add the, the release files, which you're going to go to add, browse, Mario Games, League of Legends, Rad, Solutions. You're going to go to Game Client, Send, Releases, and both releases, you're going to do this this method. Click the first one, if you have multiple folders yet, deploy it, right click, Compatibility, Run Windows and 7, but do not click Run as Administration, alright? Do not, I repeat, do not click Administration. Press OK, open, add, OK. Once you're done with that, browse again, go back to release, go to the next folder, the latest folders, all right? Make sure it's the latest folders. Same thing, properties again, 
compatibility to Windows 7, do not click Run Administration at all. Press OK, Open, Browse, and then add the NVIDIA graphics card. Now, we are going to move to the next step. The next step is to get your Google Chrome to work as well. Go to Settings, go to Advanced, go to Use Hardware Acceleration when available. Turn it off. That is that simple. Just turn it off and you're done. Once you're done, now we can go back into OBS. Now, with OBS now, we can definitely add display game and window captured. Okay? First step is to go to display, to add the display, or whatever the space size you are, press OK. Now you should see a your desktop. This is my desktop. So you can see here now my desktop with a wet. And now with this Windows, this is going to be focused on my Windows uh, Explorer files, which is my files. So press OK, and you can see where it will go away and will come back. So properties, you see, Explorer, EXE, Finish Media. That's what is focused on that folder that you see that. Now it's gonna go wait and come back. Now games. This one is a little bit tricky, but it should be simple. Alright? So now the next step is to go into the OBS settings. Make sure you go to output. Now I'm gonna show you the streaming and recording. Now I am gonna be using the in the NVIDIA graphics card. So I have it on H264. My resolution is 60, uh, 600 by 900. My, my CBR is at 65 because I'm using SSDs. Keep that in mind. And the recording, same thing. Make sure you choose the folder that you want the recording to go to. I'm also choosing uh, NVIDIA uh, 264, H264. 600 by 640. I'm also using SSDs. 6500 is my sweet spot. And then make sure that your output scale resolution is at is either the size you want or 720p or 1080p. This is based on your CPU and GPU. So keep that in mind. I have my common FPS value at 30. I click OK. Now, what we're going to do next is to start up the game. And pick training. To test this for yourself, go into the op uh, practice tools, confirmed, start game, say yes, pick any champions. Okay, start now. Before the game start, I'm going to hit the Windows key so. Once then boots up, I'm going to hit the Windows kit so it doesn't go to the main screen. I'm going to right click on, see it says Legal Legends TM Client. I'm going to right click Properties. I'm going to go into the folder. See, this is tricky. This is why I said it's very tricky. First, let me go here and then pop up that. There, there we go. Now I'm going to go into the folder. Now here we go. Go to properties, run. Make sure that says run in Windows Seven. Click OK. Now select Win uh, Legal Legends TM client. OK. Click OK. Once that is done, you should be you should be seeing the game right now. I am recording as we speak, and it should be working perfectly fine. 
now I spend my entire morning trying to figure this out and watch many YouTube videos and I've, I'm gonna say this right now I see like the YouTube videos are all about views they don't care about trying to fix the problem they just want views and I'm sitting here trying to figure why is Windows 10 not allowing OBS to actually record and I figured it out because every single exe file that is uh, League of Legends needs to be Windows 7 compatible. Not just one or two, all of them need to be compatibility. So if this has helped you in any way, please let me know down in the descriptions down below. And if this did not help you, I'm sorry, but I figured this out. I spent my entire day, but this is the only solution that I have why Windows is not accepting OBS Studios to work fully. So make sure that you do. But if it this did help you, please be so kind to hit the PayPal donation button down in the descriptions down below. But you also can follow me on Twitter. Twitter at 646studios, Instagram, the panel photographer, 646studios on Facebook, go to my website at 646studios.com where I have to talk tutorials on photography and videography, and I will see you guys in the next video.